What's cracking everyone? I know I look like a mess and that is because this week we have been struggling with back pain. I had the worst back my sophomore year. I don't know why. I do know why. Uh, years of cheerleading and falling off a segway straight onto your back. Yeah, that will cause back pain. You idiot. Yeah, I would come home crying every day because it just hurt so bad. Everywhere that I sat just hurt. And then in my junior year, it magically just got better. So for today's video, I thought it would be a good idea to recreate pictures of my sister, who is also a YouTuber, Aspen. I feel like everyone knows her and that we are related, but then I see all the time people like putting two and two together that like we're sisters. That is my sister. I thought it'd be fun to recreate pictures of when she was 17 because I'm 17 <laughs> and I just thought it would be fun to kind of just see like how similar or how different we look. I don't think we look similar at all. I get tons and tons of comments saying that we either look like twins, don't look like each other at all, or just look like sisters, which makes sense because we are. So, um, I've picked out funny pictures. She used to just post the weirdest stuff on Instagram. <laughs> and it was just so funny and I was just like stalking her and I was like, dog, what were you up to? I mean, not that I don't post weird stuff on Instagram too, but anyway, with that being said, I need to go shower and wash my hair. It's been in the spun for like three days. I also don't want to go out and like buy a ton of stuff for this video. I'm just kind of working with what I have. I'm just using what I got. Okay, I need to go shower really bad, so. I'm out of the shower. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is mess with my hair. Normally I would like to do makeup first, but because my hair is permed and I want to straighten it, I have to kind of act fast while it's wet. I also get a lot of people asking me like how I straighten it. It's not hard, so I'll just show you. Obviously the first thing I have to do is brush it out. So I use this, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. It's just like a leave-in conditioner. So right after I get out of the shower, Okay. Hi. The first thing I'm gonna do is brush it out. The pump is broken, so I have to go like this. Run that through all your hair like so, not on the roots though. Oh, it feels so nice to have clean hair and I'm just gonna ruin it. Now I'm just gonna brush it out. I recommend using a paddle brush. I know it's gross, it has a ton of hair in it. I like to brush my hair by starting at the ends. I know some people say don't brush your hair when it's wet. I have to. I start by brushing at the ends and then just making my way up. I feel like I need to lower this. Now that it's all brushed out, I'm literally just going to blow dry it and just use this to help me keep it straight. Here's my hair blow dried. I'm not done with it yet. I need to still go through it with a flat iron. Because I just put literally so much heat on my hair, I'm going to wait to flat iron it until I'm actually done with my makeup. I'm not gonna show you guys the pictures that I'm recreating until I like post mine and that one right next to it, just so it's like an element of surprise. So to start off with makeup, I'm going to just do a little bit of skincare stuff because I just washed my face. I look like a little Swedish boy from like the 1800s. So it looks like she has pretty natural makeup on. Her eyebrows are a lot thinner than mine. So I'm gonna try and like give the illusion of mine looking thinner. It looks pretty natural though. It literally just like, just the eyes and the eyebrows are a little bit different. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face real fast and then we'll continue. So her blush looks kind of dark and she also looks a lot tanner. It might just be the filter. I'm gonna use the blush from her own palette. And now I'm just gonna put on a ton of bronzer because like I said, she looks tan. I literally just look like a little boy. The eyes is where it gets a little bit different. She's wearing black eyeliner in her waterline and it looks like she's wearing black eyeliner on top too. It just maybe looks like she's wearing a little bit of like a bronzer shade eyeshadow, I mean bronzer shade eyeshadow in like her crease and just around her eyes and just do a little bit in my crease. It also looks like she had a little bit of it under her eyes as well to just give those like cute dark circle look. When I told Aspen I was doing this, she was like, Wow. I had a lot of fun stalking Aspen's Instagram actually because I actually used to help her a lot with like her videos and stuff before her and Parker were actually dating and like married and stuff. So if you scroll back to her old pictures or even her old videos and stuff, I spent hours helping her take pictures and film. Younger siblings, no. They just want to be their older siblings so bad when they're younger. And if you didn't experience that, you're lucky. It kind of sucks because older siblings, are rude. Now's the fun part, the eyeliner. Oh my god, I literally look like a boy. 
This is not going well. I'm just gonna do a little bit on like the upper lash line and kind of like smudge it out. I think hers is black, but the closest I have is brown. I want you guys below to like comment some of your favorite memories with your siblings, if you have any, or your cousins, or like whatever. I spent all of my time when I was younger with my siblings because my neighbors, we just didn't really like my neighbors. None of my siblings did, so we kind of could only hang out with each other. That looks horrible. Putting mascara on will hopefully fix it. Her eyelashes were also like a lot longer than mine. That looks so bad. I, oh, I also have to make my eyebrows thinner, which I don't like because I like my thick eyebrows. It's literally my only good feature. Besides my eye color, my eye color is pretty fire, honestly. She may have bigger eyes, but I have bigger lips. So who's the real winner? Okay, now time for eyebrows. Okay, that might be the best you're gonna get. Does that look a lot thinner than that? I think it does, okay. Okay, I think I'm done with the makeup. I just need to look at the picture one more time. It looks like she maybe has a little bit of something on her nose. In this picture, she has curled hair. I'm just gonna do this really quick off camera and then I will come back to you. Why does my forehead look huge? Okay, I'm ready to take the picture. <laughs> The good thing about all of these pictures is that since they're from Instagram and 2013 Instagram, like all of the pictures were crop were cropped square, like you couldn't make them a different size. This will be pretty easy for me to like crop and stuff. I'm literally just gonna use this camera, just like have it running and keep posing and then just screenshot something and make it square and edit it. I'm ready. I don't like this. I, my eyes look so bad. I don't know why. She thought wearing so much eyeliner was a good idea, but let's go take a pic. Oh wait, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so so a little bit of her- Oh my gosh, this is like the exact framing. Okay, okay, so it's cut off. Okay, I might need to move it down. It's cut off from like her eyebrows up and then she has this hand back here and she's like this hand right here and then she's smiling like a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, I don't know. Why is her arm so far back? Okay, wait, I need to lower this a little bit. Her face is pretty forward. And then this arm right here. This is such a weird pose. I'm like breaking my neck right now. <laughs> I think that's it for the first one. I feel like I got it pretty good, but I'm going to go edit this. Why do I look like this? <laughs> I actually, okay, I look kind of cute. Who's cuter at 17, me or Aspen? Don't answer that, it's definitely her. I just barely finished editing the first one and I literally could not get over how different we look. I tried to edit it as close as I could to hers, but like, uh, I don't know, it was just hard. I made my hair darker. It's still not as dark as hers. Her looks like red, but like we just have completely different face shapes, like completely different noses, different eyes, different eyebrows. Like everything just looks so different. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job of actually recreating it. I'm gonna give myself like a solid like eight for that one. So now the second photo that I'm going to recreate, the only thing that kind of looks different with the makeup is that instead of black in her waterline, it looks like she has white or some sort of like light color. So I'm going to do that. She's also wearing some rings. I actually need to go to Starbucks for this one because she is holding like a coffee cup. I'm gonna change my eyeliner, put on some rings. She's literally wearing like a gray shirt so I can just keep this one on and I will see you guys in the car. <laughs> I don't have a white eyeliner pencil so I'm literally using like white bright eyeshadow. I'm too lazy to go buy a white eyeliner pencil. I just tried to tape my tripod to my car, but it's too hot outside, so the tape isn't sticking. This is so dumb, but I'm like stressed about what cup they're gonna put my stuff in because like it has to be a certain cup. And I can like ask, I think, but like I don't wanna complicate everything by asking for a different cup. Can I get a pumpkin spice latte with almond milk? Um, yeah, this is, sorry, this is a weird question, but what kind of cup does that come in? Like, can I get it in like a hot chocolate cup? Oh, it comes in, yeah, it comes in a hot cup. Okay, perfect. Okay, I have a grande hot latte with almond milk and no whip, correct? Pumpkin spice. Yeah, I don't know what size a grande is. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> I got my drink. The girl was like asking me, she was like, are you going to work? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm filming a video just cause I didn't really know what else to say. And she's like, oh, like for what? And I was like, oh, I make YouTube videos. So I was just telling her about that. And then I was, <laughs> it was just so funny. It was just so weird. She was just so confused. So this picture is clearly a selfie that she took. She's also, I think she was at a baseball game and I am not, I'm in my car. Did they get rid of the square option? They did. Uh, they got rid of the square option on the new phone. Ew. <laughs> Why do I look like that? So her hair is like parted in the middle. I think it's straight for this, but I was obviously not going to like straighten my hair that I just curled. So I'm just gonna work with it, I guess. Okay, so she has 
Oh my god, that was so hot. So it's covering the majority of her face. Oh, I wish my eyes were as big as hers. Her eyes are literally like a freaking bug. They're so big. She also has like a fancy pattern on her nails. I was not going that far to like do this. So I need to like straighten my hair a little bit and like put it behind me. The freaking coffee thing is covering like 80% of her face. I don't want to dip it anymore because it's really hot. I need to hold it from like farther out. Oh my God, it's not even that good, no offense. Okay, maybe it's not bad. I also haven't eaten today and it's like two. I should probably go get food. <laughs> I thought that lady was parking right there. I was like, okay, whole parking lot's empty, but whatever. Oh, I'm holding it with the wrong hand too. Oh. Okay, that might be the best I can do, honestly. My hair is like very curly and it's not working out. Maybe if I like put it in my shirt or something because, OMG, I look kind of cute. OMG, should I cut it? That one was not the best one. I didn't think my hair was like actually that curly. Like it looks so curly in the picture. I thought I would be able to like flatten it out and make it look a little bit straighter, but it's not working. I thought this was gonna be like the easiest one, but this one has been so hard. <laughs> okay, I'll insert it now. <laughs> So that last one, it definitely, it wasn't the best, but like it wasn't horrible either. Uh, I realized I have man hands. Straight up my hands just look like a guy's. Second, I was wearing the rings on the wrong fingers or on the wrong hand, so you can't even see them. I'd rate that one probably like a five, 5.5 .5 out of 10. It wasn't my best work. We're trying. I hope this last one can be better. So this last one, I actually took this photo for Aspen and she was obsessed with it for the longest time. She just thought it was like the most aesthetic photo she had like ever seen. She was just so obsessed with everything about it. Even like it's a cute picture, but like I wouldn't say it's like amazing. I don't know. I'm sure for the time it was a great photo and it is a great photo cause like I took it, but. So she's wearing a pink tank top. I actually used to have a pink tank top I used for one of my older videos and then I got rid of it cause I was like, I'm never gonna wear this again. So I think I'm gonna wear a red tank top and then just Photoshop uh, the colors a little bit to make it look more pink. She has her hair up in a bun and then she just has some jewelry on. She's also covering her face so the makeup isn't really important by any means. Let's get started, I guess. First things first is to change and then put my hair in a bun. I'm attempting to put my hair in a bun. Her hair was so much thicker than mine. I also don't have any bracelets. Well, actually that's a lie. I don't wear bracelets. I used to wear this one bracelet all the time that me and my mom and Aspen got in Barcelona. We all got matching ones and they just claimed that it never happened, that we just never had matching bra bracelets, even though we did. Cause I would wear mine literally every day and they were like, mm, I don't think we got those together. And I was like, yes, we did. The only bracelets so that I actually have now are Aspen's bracelets that she, made. Uh, I think it's only one bracelet that she's wearing. She's wearing like a cross bracelet. I don't have that. Okay, so she has one, two, three, four rings on. She also has her nails done. Maybe I should wear a different tank top that's thinner sleeves. I mean, thinner, um, whatever these are called. And then just color with that because this is a lot thicker. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get everything ready and then come back. It's not even straight. <laughs> like me. <laughs> I need my phone. Where's my phone? The top of the bun is like just out of frame. Then she's very off to the side, but like it's, I'm just going to crop it straight from this. You can only kind of see her straps and then her hands are going like this. I just have to make sure the framing's right. <laughs> I suppose it makes my arms look big. This bracelet does not match the rest of the photo. Always, always, yeah. You are my world in every place. Okay, that one was easy enough. I think I'm done. I might as well just do the outro right here because <laughs> I look like cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was entertaining. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. I really did do my best. I feel like I haven't even edited the uh, the third one yet, but I feel like the first one is definitely the winner. So comment down below if I should recreate other people's pictures. I was thinking of doing like um, my mom's when she was younger. Shout out to Aspen for living her teen years online so I can capitalize off of it. <laughs> also, this isn't like a competition of like who's cuter between me and Aspen when we were 17. Um, I think we all know the winner. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's just so funny to see like how the styles and everything have changed even from like editing photos and just outfits and jewelry and poses and just everything like that. This was really fun. Subscribe if you want. You can hit the notification bell if you want. I never say that in videos. All right, peace out. Mwah. Bye.